like a bike, like a bike. No, she's
so when democracy is under attack, what do we do? When democracy is under attack, what do we do? What do we do? We are not going to let these fascists, racists, and ignorant people come into our town and come into our community. D.C. Has, uh, has a mass mandate. Our coronavirus cases are twice as high as they were on March and when the pandemic first came out. Nine months later, ten months later, our government is allowing thousands of individuals to come into our city with no mask on. Knowing that our coronavirus cases are big as hell. So therefore, we're going to hold people accountable and hold political officials accountable who are trying to swindle the election, swindle democracy, and don't give a rat's ass about the American people. So when democracy is under attack, what do we do? What do we do? When democracy is under attack, what do we do? What do we do? So I'm sorry that our voices are fighting for democracy is an inconvenience to your lives. But let me tell you something. The black and brown lives that are being brutalized and murdered in the United States by the United States government, that's why we're here. Because when democracy, when democracy is actually under attack, we're not just talking about voting. We're talking about people's lives. Lives. There, are 50, there are about 17 million people in the United States of America who have coronavirus. Confirmed. And all they got together was to give us $600. They don't care about our lives. So while you sit in your convenience of your homes, let this be known. There are millions of people in this country suffering. Show me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. Show me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. Show me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. Show me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. If you can't support the Constitution, then not. If you can't support the Constitution, if you can't support the Constitution, resign! Congress does not elect presidents. Americans do. And America has spoken. Biden has won the election unequivocally. Drop this brazen attempt to secure your political future and instead act in a way that puts the needs of our country first. Our country first! <laughs> our country first! Our country first. Our country first. Put U.S. citizens first. Put us first. Make people first. Make people us first. Make, make people first. Make us people over capitalism. People over capitalism. People over capitalism. To four years of chaos, incompetence, and cruelty, now Josh Hawley is saying that my vote and those of who knows how many other Pennsylvanians are fraudulent. The only fraud here is Senator Hawley and those who support his shameless scam to overturn the will of the people. I am alarmed that Senator Hawley and his sedition caucus no longer believe in democracy. I am alarmed that they are giving support to people who believe they can achieve their ends through violence. As someone who lived in Washington, D.C., I am alarmed that Hawley and Donald Trump are calling for a wild protest in the nation's capital on Wednesday in a thinly veiled attempt to intimidate Congress into overturning the election results. Keep going, keep going, Pennsylvania keep going. will not accept this. America will not accept this. Shame on Josh Hawley. Shame on Josh Hawley. Shame on Josh Hawley. Shame on Josh Hawley. which I've been informed by my superiors that that's actually illegal. So, I do have a supervisor en route if you want to speak to them. Okay. But can we maybe quiet down until we have a supervisor out here? Uh, I think actually it's probably fine to just let it happen for a few minutes. Stand up, fight back with democracy! It's under attack! What do we do? So why we're here? Because we have every right to be here to hold elected officials accountable. I'm not a constituent of you, sir, but as an American citizen, I am ashamed. 
The two will go behind our back and try to dethrone, de 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 corrupt our election. Uh, we went out and voted and stood in line and voted for hours upon end. So how dare you allow and sneak behind closed doors and try to go behind us and not validate the ballot of Pennsylvania. So we're going to be here and we're going to occupy this space. Show me what democracy looks like. Show me what democracy looks like. I said, show me what democracy looks like. Let us not forget that we are at a visual. Because when we're at a visual, we're, we're mourning something. We're at a visual, we're holding something accountable. Something, something, there's something very precious that we're out it is this land that is supposed to be built to protect and serve us. It is this land that is supposed to create, get, grant equality. But this land is not for all. And this is why tactics of ignorance and tactics of the oppressor and tactics of the federal government can be used to undermine our vote, undermine our health care, undermine our educational system, and, under, and undermine us as citizens of this country because they do not care about us. So this is what democracy looks like. And we are having a visual for democracy because democracy is simply under attack. They don't care about the so-called liberties they wrote down on their constitution because it did not include all. So just like every other way the federal government does, they will find ways to get around it. It's a shame that we all know that voter suppression happens in our country. Right now, people in Georgia are fighting for their lives right now, y'all, to, 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 to vote, to make sure things go the right way. And as people are fighting for their lives to vote, there are tons of people who are trying to suppress their vote because they know how powerful and how meaningful their vote matters. So we stand outside today for solidarity, for all the people that are being oppressed right now, for all the people whose ballots weren't counted, for all the people who didn't get a chance to make it to the ballot vote, to the ballot box, for all, for all the mail that wasn't, that wasn't counted, because of all the tactics that were happening behind the capitalist society, which is the federal government of the United States of America. So when democracy is under attack, what do we do? Rise up, fuck that! What do we do? Rise up, fuck that! What do we do? Rise up, fuck that! When democracy is under attack, what do we do? Rise up, fuck that! We try to take away the votes of the black and brown and poor people who live in urban communities all across it. this country. This is a racist attack right. on the right to vote. This is a racist attack on something that people fought and died for. This is a racist attack on our democracy. It is not, not acceptable, and we're not going to let it happen. That's right. Yes. Yes. Woo. Woo. So, because of, what, because of what Senator Hawley did, because of the irresponsible, self-serving decisions he made, some real violent people, are coming to Washington, D.C. They're here! They're so they're now, Obama people are already here. here in Washington, D.C. And I'm not just talking about the Proud Boys. I'm talking about the Republican delegation to the United States Senate and the Republican delegation to the United States House of Representatives. They are racist and they are violent! Facts. So, we know that Holly wanted to, to get some attention. We know that he wanted to, it, you know, we know he wanted to up his profile. So I hope that he's enjoying the attention that he's getting. What's up? And, hey, we out here. You know, at your door. So we came here. We had a conversation with him. It was a one-sided conversation. He didn't come out and talk to us. Yeah. So. All right. Um. You know, so. So. I don't know that he's going to come out tonight. Maybe if we come back tomorrow morning, early. We're not going to say when, but he should be ready for us to come back and visit him if he doesn't abandon his dangerous, reckless, self-serving, racist attack on our democracy. But let's remind him and his neighbors that if he doesn't back off, we'll be back. With more people. We'll be back! We'll be back! We'll be back! We'll be back! We'll be back. We'll be back. We'll be back.
be back. We'll 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 be back. And the people around us, some of them think that we're the agitators. Some of them think that we are the enemy. Some of them, some of them think that we are the prime enemy of the the prime enemy number one to de deconstructing and breaking down democracy. But in actuality, we are the people fighting for it. The picture they paint on of us is a lie. So therefore, as we commemorate and we are here and we fight for democracy and we're here at the individual, everyone put your lights in the air. Because these are for all the people that first thing died for people to have the right to vote. This is also for the people that were suppressed because of their right to vote. And this is also for the people that never even got a chance to make it to the ballot box because their communities are extremely underrepresented. And I'm pretty sure there wasn't a polling place in their community. Because there's tons of people on the other side of the river in Southeast D.C. for my people that live in, you know, Virginia, because I live in Virginia too. Okay, oh, so I, I, I say that to let you know that I witnessed the same privilege that you get to go to in your, in your neighborhood. Because my ballot box was literally one block away from my house. And they was offering shuttles to get there. But I'm telling you. There are tons of black and brown bodies, black and brown people that look like me, that sound like me, that didn't get the power to vocalize their power, to understand their power. So therefore, we put our, we put our lights in the air. Dear merciful Father, we come to you as humble as we know how. We bow beneath your feet and we give you the honor, praise, and the glorification that you so deserve. You said you would make our enemies our footstool. Anything that rises up against us, Lord, we rebuke it right now. As democracy is under attack, Lord, as you cover us from the top of our head to the crowns of our feet, and, you, you, and we rebuke anything that tries to kill, seek, or destroy us, my Heavenly Father. As you grant us the strength, the serenity, the peace of mind to keep pressing forward and, per and persevering through, I ask that you not remove the mountain, Lord, but give us all the strength to carry up the mountain. Because there's going to be people that are going to continue, Lord, to put mountains in our way. We do this all this in your name, my Heavenly Father, because they will not win the battle because we all know that victory belongs to you. So let them, so let them, Lord, let them sit by the knee side. Let them be the bystanders. And let them watch as people are sick. Let them watch, Lord, as people are dying. Let them watch as there's a terrorist coming to our capital with no mask on. Because they say that the coronavirus, Lord, affects the most vulnerable people in the world. Black, brown, poor, and most vulnerable, disenfranchised, neglected, forgotten, and ignored people in the world. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Blessed of the Holy Ghost, we're going to be on your back tomorrow. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you.